From the moment mechanical transport appeared, and in some cases even earlier than that, people needed a means to warn pedestrians of a common vehicle to ensure their safety. Wind signaling devices or klaxons as well as small bells had certain disadvantages. Bells could continuously ring as the device moved on a bad road or at a high speed. A klaxon required that the driver use the, their whole hand to make sound. This was especially unacceptable for two-wheel transport, including bicycles and motorcycles. Raymond Beatty, a mechanic from New Jersey, offered a solution to this problem. It was the mechanical horn. Structurally, it consisted of small bells with an actuating mechanism hidden inside and small lever operated by the driver's finger. The old mechanism was placed on the bicycle handlebar. To produce a sound, the lever was to be pulled. As the lever moved, it turned and shaft to which the main spring with hammers at the ends was attached. The spring is coked and released with the help of the lever. It causes the hammers to hit the bells. At the same time, the driver can honk the horn with just the finger. Thanks to its simplicity and reliability, bicycle horn of this design became widely spread and was used for over a hundred years. Only in the recent years, the electric ringer started to gradually replace it.